Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. If you are enjoying our stories, please do subscribe to this channel. We will be posting many more stories as time goes by. When I was young, I had a friend named Scott. He and I would often play at his house, in fact, we did pretty much everything together. However, after a couple of months, we started to get bored with the usual things we got up to. In such circumstances, Scott usually would take the lead, but this time, I had an idea. My idea was to annoy Scott's mother so much that she would have to spank us. Normally, we would never want a spanking, but the trick was to be that right before the spanking, we would stuff our jeans with napkins. At first, Scott said, are you crazy? I said, wait, with the napkins, it might sting a little bit, but it won't hurt, I promise. I told Scott it would be a great rush. Scott's mom was a large woman, about six feet tall, and about 220 pounds. She was scary at times, but she was also nice, and I liked her. To get our spanking, we decided to get caught watching his mom undressing. This happened one evening when I was spending the night. We went up to Scott's mom's room and got under the bed. Finally, she came up and started to undress. She took her shirt off. We both were very nervous and excited. Everything was going great until Scott accidentally kicked me. That made the bed move enough to make a noise. Scott's mom looked under the bed and found us. What are you doing? She demanded. I said nothing. Both of you get downstairs, now, and wait for me. We went downstairs to wait. Scott was nervous, but I was not. Everything was going to plan, until Scott remembered he'd forgotten to stuff his pants. He started to cry. As he was crying, his mom was coming down the stairs. All this is my fault, I told Scott. I said I would take the blame and tell his mom everything. When his mom came into the room, the first thing she said was, are you boys ready for a spanking? Very quickly, I explained that everything was my fault, and I pressured Scott into the idea. Scott's mom said, I need to call your parents. I said, please don't do that. Why not? They need to know about this situation. I replied, I will make you a deal, if you don't tell my parents, I will let you spank me over your knee. Finally, Scott's mom said, okay. She told Scott go to his room, adding that they would have a talk later. Then she went over to the couch and said, come here. I went over to her right knee. She asked if I was ready a major spanking. I bent over her knees. She gave me a couple of loving pats on my rear. Then she began to spank my bottom. The first couple of spanks stung, but by the ninth, I couldn't take any more. I began to cry more and more. By the twentieth spank, I was squirming and crying heavily. She stopped at thirty spanks, 